I'll start with saying that's a, a tough Charleston team that can score in a variety of different ways, and uh, they gave us a tough fight tonight. Uh, I'm proud of our team, though, for being able to execute down the stretch. We've been talking a lot about pushing through adversity and failing forward and um, really in those key crucial moments executing, and we were able to do that tonight. So we took a step forward, um, and obviously it's her birthday, so I'm glad we got a dub on her birthday. <laughs> Um, so in the first half, I mean, Charleston came out of points from three, and you really adjusted in the second half. What do you think allowed you to, what adjustments were made from them not having? We didn't really make many adjustments. We just challenged them at halftime to guard better. I think it was a lot of one-on-one -on -one defense that was causing rotations and breakdowns. So um, kudos to them for responding and really locking in and taking pride on their one-on-one -on -one individual guarding their yard. So I think that was the difference. And, um, you know, we when, when we tell them something, they respond usually, and, and they focus on that. So. I was excited about that. I had a question for the back and forth game all night. You, you, you had adversity at points in the game. How proud of your team were you to fight, fight it out and come to here to grind out this win? Uh, I'm, I'm really proud because we just went on the road at A&T and it, it was very similar, right? And we, we weren't able to overcome. And so we talked about that and being able to lock in, being able to execute down the stretch and taking care of the basketball and being able to get stops. And again, I'm glad they were able to see that happen tonight for them because like I said, we, we, we didn't do that at A&T. So uh, I'm proud of them. And your backcourt trio of uh, Annie Reedy and Jay Davis are all really good at times, especially offensively. Just thoughts on their performance and what it means to your team now. I mean, they mean a lot. <laughs> I trust them tremendously. The ball's in their hands a lot. They have to make a lot of decisions. I mean, they got pressed tonight for 40 minutes. Um, that's tough to go against. Um, and being able to take care of the basketball, but th they make our team go. Uh, and, and I'm excited that Dede kind of have a breakout game today because I've been waiting for it. We've all been waiting for it. Um, so if we can get, you know, a, a big four going here, right, not just Gigi, Annie, and Reese, right? we're adding Dede to it now too. So I'm excited about the direction we're going. I think just being decisive and, and confident and really our players understanding what they do really well and trusting that. You know, I, Charleston's a hard team to go against. You, you can't really run the sets that you want, the offense. They're they're making you indecisive. They're trying to do that. They're trying to speed you up. So, again, kudos to them. They have to make plays, right? They have to make those decisions. Um, and that's what I want as a coach. I want players to make plays. I don't want to joystick everything. It's, it's a lot more enjoyable for me when I see them go be successful off of their decisions. Um, definitely. I just was going downhill a lot, and my teammates were running on the side, so it really opened up the middle of the court for me. You kind of touched on that. Um, you got a lot of um, buckets downhill and a lot in traffic. Were you, is that something that you really, like, holding, holding multiple defenders, you really power through? Is that something you were, like, proud of and just able to fight off those defenders tonight? Uh, definitely. Uh, I was thinking that it was a good thing to push the ball as much as we could, and if we couldn't get it up the floor, I could push it up the floor. Um, also, you led the team in six assists. What do you think allowed you to really set the tone tonight a little? Um, like I said, like when I was pushing the ball, when I didn't have it, I could see when my teammates were running and I could get them open shots. And then uh, for Dede, um, happy birthday. Um, Thank you. Uh, you really kind of caught fire in the second half. What do you think allowed you to have like that kind of breakout half and really set the tone against them? Uh, honestly, them, you know, talking to, talking to coach at halftime and then just, just get, them getting me riled up. You know, if I'm if I'm not if I'm not playing to my level, they notice that and they're always there to pick me up when I'm when they need it. And Coach kind of touched on it, but you kind of had your breakout game tonight. What was that feel like to have it, especially on your birthday, just have that <laughs> performance and really kind of break out and, and show what you got? Um, it feels good just just to know that I can perform on perform at any time. And just like Coach said, you know, she always on to me, like, this is your time. Like, you know, break out, break out as much as you can. And that's what I did today, and I was, it was good. And we've touched on this before, but always high-energy player. You really show that in the, the fourth quarter with that offensive rebound. Taking you through that there, and, like, that really, like, pumped the team up and helped you stick to the win. Uh, honestly, I kind of, I kind of, I use that the me being an energy player to get me going. You know what I'm saying? And like being able to get my teammates going, that's that's what fuels me. So like when I got the rebound, like I knew that 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 was what we needed in the time, especially in crunch time, at, right there at the end. And I and and I got them going and got me going. So. Cool. Good job, y'all. Thank you.